Hey, it's MK, and I am here with another Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. And today's sketch is by the amazing Pamela Cook. So I'm super excited to play along with this sketch. I have these four photos from one of the bars that were on the cruise ship, and it's called Rising Tide, but that's not what I'm going to name this sketch uh, or this layout. So I have this mixed media piece. Now, this was my first ever 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 mixed media piece playing with a super thin piece of paper um, and doing a layering technique i just was trying to get a feel for what i was doing i'm also going to be using a paper rose black star paper and then this sticker sheet from photo play which is to the moon and back so i'm going to play along with that too because janet said i couldn't use martians on my layout so I'm going to be using Martians on my layout. <laughs> so off camera, before I realized I needed to turn the camera on, I went ahead and trimmed down my photos and matted them in a white cardstock that I had for scrap, actually two white cardstocks because they were scraps. Um, I've had this piece of, uh, <laughs> of mixed media paper in my stash for years. I want to say years you guys 16 17 uh, it's been a long time and I was very brand new to mixed media had no clue what I was doing but in the end I thought the other side was prettier than the side I was trying to um mixed media right I love the fact that I can see the faded stars from the texture paste that I was using um I love how everything soaked through. I had no clue about paper back then. So this, like I said, this is super, super thin um, paper that I think I got from a paper pad. I couldn't even tell you at this point. I couldn't even tell you the products I used on, um, on this mixed media paper. But it's been hanging out in my stash for a long time. And I really wanted to use it up. I really did. And so last night we had one of our sessions, um, one of our Zoom sessions for the class that Janet and I are doing all year long. And um, the session was to just get creative, play with your favorite products, um, just be creative, try a new technique, something. Um, and for me, I wanted, I challenged myself to use old mixed media papers um, so I used one that I knew I wanted to use, and then I pulled out this one thinking I'm going to be able to do two projects, which I did. Uh, but I really wasn't sure what to do with this. And some, um, some folks said use it to, you know, as a block to mat all my photos on. Um, so that way it's in the background, but yet you can still see the, the beautiful design of it. Um, others said cut it up into shapes, things like that. And then I remembered the sketch for today. And I was like, oh, guess what? This would be absolutely perfect. It matches these photos beautifully. Um, I mean, everything just started going, you know, like falling in place. It was amazing. So I did end up uh, cutting this whole piece of paper into stars. Um, why not, right? Because there's stars in the paper, stars on the paper, and now the paper is in the shape of a star. So I decided that's what I'm going to do, and this sketch was perfect. I just couldn't believe how well it fell into place. So I did cut way too many stars, so I will have um, those stars be used somewhere else. <laughs> Um, but right now I'm going to kind of split them in half and only use a portion of the stars. And I'm trying to, uh, where there were those off-white polka dots, which I think was supposed to be white, you guys, but because it soaked into the color, it changed to that um, light teal or light bluey color. I'm trying to get my stars to line up in a row so that way that light blue looks like it's fluttering at a diagonal across my layout. That's, that's where I'm, that's what I'm attempting to do. So I'm gonna, I started with my largest stars, that way I knew I had room for everything, went to my medium stars, and then my small stars, and now my, um, my little, little stars. So I really like how it looks, so I'm going to go ahead and glue everything in place. Now the thing about this project is it's very shiny. Um, the paper rose uh, paper is shiny. The um, mixed media that I used on this paper is shiny. My photos are shiny. <laughs> so taking a picture um, of this project was quite difficult because it wanted to reflect everything. Um, I, I just, you, I, I wish somebody could come in and take a picture of how I take pictures of things because it's more hilarious than 
um, you know, how the picture actually turns out. And it seems like when I try to filter my photos, instead of sharing with you guys the original photo, um, it seems like when I filter it, it gets worse. So I don't even bother with filters. Um, it goes a lot faster when I don't. I did also leave this video in only two times because it only took me 20 minutes to put this layout together and that was die cutting and everything from start to finish. So I did not want to fast forward too much to where the video was only gonna be four minutes long. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but yeah, so once I've glued down all of my stars, I brought in my sticker sheet. I did cut off my larger stars at the end um, or that are falling off the page. I love having my elements fall off the page because it looks like it was meant to be like they came onto the page. Now I knew right away I wanted to use one of these rockets. I, I just knew it. And so I picked out this Tealy rocket um, and these stickers by Photoplay, I don't know what they use as adhesive, but it even sticks to the texture paste. Like once I stuck it down, it was down. I could not move it. I couldn't pick it up, nothing. And you'll see here um, with that alien that I put down, the blue, the blob that reminds me of Bob from uh, Monsters and Aliens. You guys know what I'm talking about. Come on, we all have kids at once. Um, but I tried to pick Bob back up so I could put something underneath his tentacles and it didn't work. So um, right here, I'm trying to and I'm trying to and it's just like, okay, uh, I'll I'll be good with that. <laughs> I'm not going to try to disrupt Bob because um, <laughs> he's on the page. So I also put that little hexagon piece there because I'm going to finish the layout with the word bar, uh, but I forget to record that part. Uh, in all honesty, I got so excited with how this layout was coming together that um, I, I honestly completely forgot how, uh, that I was going to finish off uh, the word bar as my layout because um, I just thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect because it looks like a space bar. It really does. It, it looks like something that was outer space. But the coolest part about this bar um, was that it started on the fifth floor and rose up to the eighth floor and then stayed up there for a hot minute and then rose back down. So that's why it's called Rising Tide. I will have another, um, another layout coming. I don't know when. Um, of the actual bar going well in photo in photos going back down to the fifth floor so because we caught it on the eighth floor and we didn't rise it up we or we didn't go ride it up we just wrote it down um, and then we got distracted on the fifth floor and, <laughs> and, and got off and and went and did something else I mean there are so many things to do on on the ship. It, it is absolutely crazy. All right so I'm going to finish this layout off with um, my Dina Wakely white gloss spray and that is it. Uh, I, I really love, this makes me so happy. Look at all of the little space things I got to go. Uh, I just think that that's crazy. And um, I did the little subtitle, You Amaze Me, because the bar did. It was amazing. The, the bar amazed me. Um, and so I thought, you know what, that, that works out perfectly fine. Bob's holding it for me. I absolutely love it. And I finally got to use this mixed media paper. So there's where I added the word bar. I've got uh, my space bar in the dead space of my photo. Uh, and I, I just, I love it. Pam, thanks so much for an amazing sketch. I had a blast playing with it. Don't forget about the links down below for Christy's Beautiful Life, 30 Days of Sketches. I have a playlist link for those of us that are documenting, playing along with the sketches here on YouTube. And then I have a Facebook link down below. Um, sharing where you can find all the other uh, sketches for this series, past series, everything over on Christie's Facebook group. All right, you guys, thank you so much, and I will check you out later. Bye.